By understanding monitoring governance and its relationship to CA Monitor, you can address key infrastructure management challenges. Have you ever thought about what you should actually be monitoring? You're already focusing on the big picture of the systems and technologies already in place, such as VMware or Exchange, but how about the details, like what is actually alarm-worthy? For instance, which parts of the VM infrastructure? Should you monitor hosts, guests, and what items are of importance for alarms, the checkpoints? Which alarms should become notifications? What does notification escalation look like? Then how are those checkpoints or alarms to be remediated? What performance data do we need to collect, and at what frequency and how long do we retain it? All of the answers to these questions become the monitoring governance. It's our job to get the monitoring governance documented, organized, and implemented in a way that supports the overall goals of the implementation. When this is not done, the implementation is often done ad hoc or on the fly without following a plan. So it becomes hard to maintain, understand, and build upon. Put simply, monitoring governance is what you want to monitor. It specifies the probes that will be used, the individual checkpoints to be enabled, whether you will collect performance metrics for that checkpoint, what the alarm thresholds will be, and what alarm management rules, if any, to enforce. We have to start thinking about monitoring as a service, whether it be for internal customers or the external customers of a service provider. We no longer want to rely on an out-of-the-box approach of just turning on all the thresholds and hoping to capture something meaningful. We recommend going through an intentional workshop-driven process to think through the service that is going to be offered by monitoring. CA has crafted the approach that monitoring aligns with and belongs in a service catalog as part of a broader service offering. It doesn't have to be complicated. It can be very simple, good, better, best, basic or advanced, or even a bronze, silver, gold hierarchy. The focus should not be so much on what you're trying to monitor, but what value the customer gets from what you are monitoring. For example, we want to implement end-user experience monitoring because the application team wants to know how an application is performing for an end-user. Are parts of the application performing as well as they could or should be? What parts are not functioning at all? And then which probes and configurations do we have to deploy to capture all of these metrics? It's critical that the monitoring governance be tied to your service offering and service catalog. The service offering is what your customer buys. The service catalog then provides more details. CA has created a tool called the Monitoring Governance Worksheet and will be covered in more detail as part of the services engagement. The worksheet contains the scope, what is being monitored, the probe used, and what metric is called. You can set an alarm, determine the polling period, publish performance metrics, and identify alarm thresholds. The last column is for event management rules to describe what is to be done when you get an alarm. From this information, monitoring governance provides the necessary detail for the technical folks to install, configure, and maintain the system. Finally, don't be tempted to enable everything or you will end up with large databases, alarm floods, and overall unmanageability of the system. Instead, take the time to understand the service offering and service catalog to take an iterative approach to monitoring, which will increase customer value and be sure to focus on the actionable. Administrators deploying monitoring in this intentional framework reduces the overall effort required to maintain the solution. Your boss likes that because it's lower total cost of ownership component. Service providers now have confidence in a scalable service catalog based infrastructure which allows them to be quicker to get to market with those offerings. And ultimately, infrastructure owners get better information about how their infrastructure is performing. They get more timely notices about issues and outages. Monitoring that is defined within the service offering becomes specific and focused, and as a result is documented, easier to replicate, becomes easier to remediate any issues, and becomes something that can be put under change control. To find out more about how we can help you get your monitoring governance strategy in place, go to ca.com services.